friends welcome to get my jab channel in today's video we will like to see top 10 questions for cracking electrical engineer's job interview topic for today's video is three phase induction motor so friends prepare for the interview for the job of electrical engineer for gulf or for india let us know top questions on motor which are asked during the electrical engineer's job interview to support your interview preparation i will be pre publishing series of videos on each aspect of electrical to get such videos first and please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so let us see the first question what kind of maintenance is required for induction motor this is a very normal and common question asked during interviews so normally induction motor will have three basic kind of maintenance strategies preventive or routine maintenance in this type of maintenance it would include checking up terminations earthing motor body cleaning ir means insulation resistance checking pi checking motor resistance checking fan and lubrication change of lubrication or change of lubrication oil normally this routine maintenance is done once in a year predictive maintenance this type of maintenance is normally done on large motors includes certain kind of testing like mcsa tan delta thermography motor vibration lubrication oil analysis shaft voltage in case of large voltage uh, large motors having insulated bearings high pot test breakdown maintenance breakdown maintenance is an unwarranted situation where the maintenance will be based on the type of failure what is ir pi and resistance test for the motor ir means mega testing this is the test this is to test the insulation resistance of an electrical motor a mega ohm meter can provide high voltage dc usually 500 volt to 15 kv at a predetermined current capacity to test the motor insulation strength winding resistance testing winding resistance test testing brings to the light dead dead shorts loose connection and open circuit measuring the resistance of winding ensures all circuits are pre properly wired and all connections are secured all coiled winding should have a predetermined resistance specified by the manufacturer for the motor to operate correctly polarization index or pi testing this motor test is used to determine the fitness of a motor the index is made up of calculating the measurement of winding insulation resistance the pi gives you an idea how much dirt or moisture build up is there the insulation integrity and how well the motor operates for this test the applied voltage should be kept at constant for 10 minutes with an insulation resistance reading taken at 1 minute and second insulation resistance taken at readings taken at 10 minutes the ratio between 1 minute to 10 minute measurement gives you polarization index of the motor what is mcsa test for motor and how it is used mcsa or motor current signature analysis is a dynamic testing method to evaluate electrical motor condition without shutting down and interrupting production to effectively report on the condition of a motor the following fault zones can be identified in this method power analysis stator faults are indicated by high impedance imbalance and rising negative sequence current changes in startup current and time can be caused by stator or rotor faults stator fault by measuring ac inductance per phase the the extreme imbalance in the readings would indicate turn to turn state of fault a phase to phase fault is usually indicated by high voltage imbalance between the phases rotor fault a rotor bar defect is identified by comparing the pole pass frequency side band to the line frequency and analyzing the data through the fft analyzer air gap this detect defect 
can be detected through variation in the peaks of the sine wave from the inductor's measurements. Which parts on the motor will be detected by motor current signature analysis or MCSA? MCS will help in determining falling parts of the motor. Rotor bar deterioration, rotor eccentricity, stator phase imbalance, motor speed and slip, gear and belt imperfections, average running current, an indicator of motor torque, stroke time on assemblies with the defined start and stop points, changing friction forces, torsional vibration and dynamic loading, bearing degradation. What is standard test for motor and what is use of it? Dielectric dissipation factor testing also known as tangent delta or power factor testing is a measure of dielectric losses in an insulation system. In the field of rotating machine, this technique is widely used as an appropriate means of assessing the quality of new and the aged stator winding insulation. It also can indicate how much foreign particles are deposited on the stator winding. Typically, tan delta value trend is monitored to assess healthiness of the motor. What is vibration signature analysis test uh, in the motor and its use? Data collection is done through accelerometer. The data is collected from the points from in several special configuration. It is preferred that the reading would be taken in a coupled condition at full load, full rated load. If it is possible also to run the motor at no load or at a different loads, it would provide greater insights into the vibrations and allow for better segregation of electrical and mechanical origin of any incipient fault. Some of the faults that are identified very accurately through vibration signature analysis are listed. Motor and or driven component imbalance. Motor imbalance, motor mounting flexibility, foundation flexibility, motor cooling fan blade damage, motor bearing wear, motor thrust bearing wear, motor bearing looseness, motor thrust bearing looseness, motor bearing misalignment, motor lamination looseness, motor free end bearing wear, motor drive end be bearing wear, motor free end bearing looseness. Line phase voltage imbalance, motor air gap problem, motor journal bearing wear, motor bearing noise, motor free end bearing noise, motor drive end bearing noise, motor free end journal wear, motor drive end journal wear, foundation vibration, motor foundation resonance, mounting looseness, motor bearing fit problem, indication of bent motor shaft. What is HIPOT test for HT motor? The HIPOT test voltage or HVAC voltage is as is applicable will be applied in step each voltage being applied for one minute duration. A plot of leakage current will be plotted. The leakage current will be measured at various voltage levels. Benefits of HIPOT test identified nature of leakage currents and its potential cause damage identifying whether it flows through insulation material or contaminants, determining the, perm determining the permittivity of overall insulation system. What is natural frequency test for the ST motor and what is use of it? The overhang section of stator coil are tapped using a mallet or a calibrated hammer. An accelerometer is placed on the knuckle section and vibration signal is picked up using a vibration analyzer. The FFT signal of vibration is analyzed for presence of peaks near 2 into line frequency range. If such peaks are present, it can lead to a catastrophic damages. Benefits of natural frequency test Determine the mechanical integrity of the stator coil assembly. Determine need for adding stiffness to the stator coils helps in assessing high stresses on coil and in effect reduce breakage or water leakage for the hollow conductors, lowering stress levels of the stator coil and in effect increasing the life of the unit. What is partial discharge analysis for an ST motor and its use? In offline PD measurements of PD magnitudes, 
maximum or average it also analyzes pulse magnitude versus count and importantly the phase reward partial discharges collected with high speed data acquisition system benefits of partial discharge analysis better assessment or classification of partial discharges planning of outage for focus maintenance planning of maintenance section like overhauling tapping of coils where pd has caused erosions taping of coils sorry number of stress grade point paint application at the slot exits to decide actions like wedge tightness check for, or for revaging to decide on need for coil filling material during maintenance poor impregnation information can also can help to decide actions like varnishing or resin filling warranty claims for new machines that have air walls due to bad vpi or manufacturing processes what is growler test and what is its use growler test is performed on the rotor out of the stator current flow is induced through the rotor by energizing a laminated core wrapped with wire and placing this core close to the rotor the rotor bars are magnetized and by the use of iron filling hacksaw blade you can determine the discontinuity of current flow through the rotor bars or a cracked bar this test will identify the cracked rotor bars which tests are done during routine testing or fat test of an induction motor cold winding resistance test temperature sensor resistance test bearing temperature test no load bearing temperature rise no load curve and characteristic loss over speed test bearing vibration at no load condition lock rotor current and top test noise level test heat run test insulation resistance test so friends i hope this information was useful for you and you will take advantage of it please like and subscribe my youtube channel for such more videos thank you friends